Hi everyone, welcome to Foodie Vibes. Today we are making the famous savory and spongy Ras Malai Risi. Let's get started. I have to pan here in which one of it I will put the sugar syrup to boil. Pour around 4 cups of water and 3 quarter cup of white sugar and bring to boil. While in the other pan we'll prepare the creamy saffron milk. Pour 1.5 liter of water, add 400 gram of milk powder, mix well until no lumps, then add 3 quarter cup of condensed milk. Mix well, then remove some milk to soak the saffron strands in. Now we'll add some cardamoms and give a quick mix, then let it boil. Next, let's prepare the Ras Malai bowls. In a bowl, we'll take 190 gram of milk powder, add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of cardamom powder, mix well, then we'll beat two eggs. And we'll add little by little until we'll get a dough. we don't need to add more eggs now. Though it's a bit sticky, you may use some water to wet your hand palm to be able to shape the bowls. First roll the bowl in your palm, then press a bit to flatten the Ras Malai. In this recipe, I have obtained around 25 Ras Malai. Now we'll put the Ras Malai bowls in the syrup water and let it boil around 10 minutes. We'll put the soaked saffron and 1 quarter cup of sugar. Give a good mix. Meanwhile we'll turn the Ras Malai upside down and let boil. After 10 minutes, we'll remove the Ras Malai Place in a strainer and press gently to drain out the excess syrup and put in the saffron milk. Repeat the other Ras Malai bowls until all done. We'll garnish with some finely chopped almonds and pistachios. Cover and now we'll let it boil for 5-6 to six minutes in the milk and after that we'll switch off and let cool down before refrigerate them. This is my version of no fail Ras Malai recipe, so spongy, creamy and so tempting. Hope you have enjoyed my video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.